So do you want to be a programmer or more of a scripter? Or is there even any difference? So what is the actual difference? Well, let's just consult the internet for that. So we have to look at terms that are pretty broad because a lot of them came along before computers were really a thing. So in computing, a program is simply a set of instructions that a computer carries out. And then what is scripting? Well, clearly we're not talking about playwrights here, we're talking about computing. Well, in computing, a scripting language is simply a programming language that is run at runtime. Now, what does it mean to be run at runtime? Well, it basically means that it's interpreted by another program versus being compiled into zeros and ones. But I don't wanna to go too far down the technicalities of it. Basically, a scripting language or a scripter is a programmer, but not all programmers are scripters. There are programs that are compiled and therefore would not be considered script. So problem solved, right? Well, I wish it was that simple. Unfortunately, our industry is really bad at naming things. You've probably heard people say, I don't want to be a programmer. I kind of just want to write, you know, little short scripts. Well, technically, by writing these short scripts, they are writing programs, but we all seem to just ignore that for some reason. And we tend to define programming as writing a lot of code and scripting as writing a little bit of code. That is until JavaScript became as big as it is. And that is by definition a scripting language, but it's also one of the places where you can write the most code. So there are plenty of JavaScript developers, you know, web developers that consider themselves to be programmers. So how does that all make sense? Well, it's like a lot of other terminology in our industry. It really doesn't. And everybody kind of has their own way of viewing it. And unfortunately, we become really bad about gatekeeping where, you know, somebody will say, I am a JavaScript developer and I am a programmer. And somebody else will say, no, you're not a real programmer because I write in C sharp and that's a real programming language. And then another person will say, well, I write in C plus plus or I write in C and eventually you'll get all the way to the guy that's probably 80 years old at this point and wrote actual binary and he will definitely be able to declare that he is the only real programmer uh, until the ghost of alan turing comes around and proves them all wrong so we kind of have this weird thing in our industry where we don't always say what we mean and i wouldn't worry too much if i were you about the term programmer because you kind of are what you say you are in this industry. So you can say you're a programmer if you write any type of code, uh, because technically that code is a set of instructions that the computer will carry out. And that's the truth of it. If you're one of those people that wants to say the way I do it is the real way and everything else is inferior to that, well, I guess go ahead if it makes you feel better, but it's really not what you should be focused on. Honestly, tying yourself to one specific way of doing things is actually not advantageous in this industry. You're better off being able to do a lot of different things. Now that's not to say that you shouldn't specialize. If you're somebody that mostly writes code in a specific language and that's mostly what you do, there's nothing wrong with that. But there's always a benefit to being able to do other things outside of that sphere. If you're the type of person that can kind of pick up, you know, some other type of thing that you're not used to doing, say installing a server or running Docker containers, that is an advantage compared to somebody who is dead set, they will only do one thing. And in an industry that's so bad at naming things, a lot of times there's just no point to tying yourself to any one title. I mean, this is an industry where you have software engineers, software developers, programmers, and they can all refer to themselves as those titles, yet they will be more similar to somebody with the opposite title than another person that has the same title. I'm not sure why we're so bad at naming things in this industry, and it gets a little bit frustrating if you think about it too much, which maybe I shouldn't. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Have a good night.